Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the Peace Dealer. We are two degrees Libra Sun. The moon has recently traveled past two degrees Cancer Moon. So that means we are within the 270 to 300 degree angle of Sun and Moon. In that, we have completed the previous Virgo cycle. The reason why we have not completed the Libra cycle even though this is a third quarter square is because we have not had the new moon in Libra yet. So we have not activated this Libra cycle. That means we had the new moon in Virgo when we activated new behavioral patterns. We sowed those seeds to change our habits. Then we had the moon in Sagittarius while the sun was in Virgo and those seeds broke through the ground so that we can see the meaning of how to change these behaviors. We could see the meaning and a higher perspective of how our behavior is beginning to change. Then we had the 180 degree full moon from moon in Pisces that changed everything we believe about how we live our life. And so from zero to 90 to 180, that 180 harvest has converted into 270 degrees, taking this change of behavior and applying it in relationships while you are feeling your individual feelings around who you're connecting with. 270 degrees that's going to lead back into the zero degree new moon in libra where we officially start the libra season during the eclipse so you are in fate range and territory uh people who you're talking to taking action with working with are going to be highly relevant in your life for the next nine to twenty years um i don't think it's a thing you could really consciously control because I don't really believe in free will like that. I believe in free will like you have in a video game. So like you have the free will to traverse the level however you want, but there is a fixed element of where you're meant to go. Like there's only so much places you can go to on this planet. So like a video game, it's up to you how you finish the game, but there's only certain levels you, you are predetermined to access. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, probably not, or probably you do. And the reason why I'm saying that is you may not fully be aware of how you're being set up to relate with certain people ahead of time. And if you want to think long term, there could be people who will become your mortal enemy that you're friends with right now. Like you, none of you even know you're going to be like the craziest ops to each other. And there could be people who you don't even like like that right now. Like you hate the way they smile. You hate when they talk shit. And you might be besties with them for the rest of your life. Just for the cruel irony of your spirit, guys, to clown both of you like they used to hate each other. All right, my bad. So with that being said, you feel me? Um, there is a bit of conscious awareness that will have you reflect right now. If someone's qualities you see, if who they show you who they are the first time does not really align with who you are, ask yourself if this is the type of person you want to influence or be influenced by over the next decade. And if the answer is no, don't fuck with these people. Like, don't do anything with these people if you knew your actions are being cemented into this rabbit hole of a destiny portal not to be confused with the rabbit hole we're gonna have in march 2024 so with that being said you know if you are aligned right over the past week i've been connecting with new and existing people that i'm renewing more of what we do and that lets me know okay these people are going to be significant to my life in the long run or for this nodal period and vice versa, I might be significant to their life. This is a conscientious decision and choice. On top of other alignments and arrangements that you can't control, you're gonna be at that place at that time where they're there. So just something to keep in mind, your awareness of this full integration of your identity to habits from April to September, you're getting ready to harvest. So the moon in Cancer is concluding this previous behavioral cycle by showing you the results of the effects of your behavior relative to how sincerely you feel about other people. 
who you're relating and connecting with. So cancer is individual sincere feelings. It's also psychic emotions, psych power of the psych, psychic power. So the moon in cancer is a psychic understanding, an intuitive, sincere, emotional understanding around the sun and Libra awareness of other people. If we take the Aries moon, this would be more an individual, sincere, psychic understanding of who you are as a character. But in Libra, it's a sincere, psychic understanding of who you are in relation to other people, how your behavior and how your actions balance with other people's needs, desires, and who they are, where you could be a full on dick and an asshole, or you could not be a dick and practice kindness. It's really up to you because now the consequences of those actions will further mark and develop who you are, all right? And that's what I love about Libra because Libra and Capricorn now bring up this hero villain matrix where it's like, okay, are you going to walk the path of the villain and be more selfish in your dealings with others and not care about other fields? Or are you gonna walk the path of the hero and now, you know, care for others more than you care for yourself. I'm neither a hero or a villain. I'm chaotic neutral. So, like, it is what it is. Like, <laughs> holla at your boy. You feel me? Like, it's just straight NPC. I'm just going to keep telling the truth no matter who it is. But, like, you know, certain of you, you're going to, <laughs> you're going to define who you are, you know what I mean, through these actions. And in that, you're unlocking superpowers uh, supernaturally. Are you going to use these abilities for evil, for good? Subjective, yes, but relative to that moral subjective compass, are the objectivity of your actions going to create a net positive or negative, which is also subjective? Anyway, other than that, <clears throat> the moon in cancer psychic understanding is taking this completion of the cycle, and it's also going to bring powerful understanding relative to how you shift the direction towards other people, taking into account the sincerity, which is what the challenge is, because there's how you will individually feel, and then there's what you're willing, willpower to do with other people, right? So Libra is gonna be like, come outside, come outside. And then the moon in Kansas is gonna be like, I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it. So you could either convince yourself to feel like going outside, or you can just Libra flake and stay inside, because Libras are, the gods of flaking like no one flakes on you more classy than a libra man or woman and it it is a skill like it's not that easy like you have the classic ghost from aquarius pisces and aquarius will ghost the shit out of you but libra will flake on you and be like yeah i'll be there and they didn't show up ah classic flake all right other than that you know whatever you decide to do libra my favorite sign i'm gonna make fun of them and sag but it's cool. Whatever you decide to do, make sure it aligns with what you sincerely feel because you don't want to be brought out and then bring, you know, weird, funky emotions. You could have just stayed inside with that. But you also don't want to get too bogged into your comfort zone. So this is going to really help you complete that before the moon goes into Leo. And you take this sincere psychic understanding and then you charge it more courageously to feel who belongs around you in this entourage. As the purpose of Libra season, not only being cuffing season and the playoffs, is also putting you in a position to now take this integration of your individuality and as Pluto and Aquarius is going to awaken this advanced society during this next round of the Hunger Games, aka Squid Games, right? This is going to help you find the people who you're going to survive the next round of the Hunger Games with. Doesn't that feel amazing? You're going to fight for your life with these people. You might meet people who aren't even going to be alive in a couple of years. This, this, this next round is that crazy. This is Squid Games. Okay, so, so as you complete this psychic understanding of how to take these individual feelings you have and share them with other people, this allows you to get saucy because Venus is in Scorpio. And we are in the I Told You So Tour Part 2, where if you're not being saucy enough, why did you even show up to the function, all right? Because the juice is good, but the juice is 
temporary. The sauce lasts forever. I need to be serious. I'm sorry. All right. So yeah, this moon in Cancer is going to trine Saturn in Pisces and Neptune in Pisces. And now relative to the full moon in Virgo that had you reinforce integrity of beliefs around how you should live your life, you're reinforcing those individual feelings attached to these integrity of beliefs to empower the direction you feel in that supports your beliefs applied directly to your relationships with other people. So it's through this I told you so tour showing your behavior and how you've changed for the better or for worse in order to, of course, inhibit or uninhibit the action you take with others. But this is all in line to the subsequent unlocking of superpowers done supernaturally. All right, especially as the sun will later uh, square Pluto in Capricorn. But you know what? The moon in Cancer is also going to oppose Pluto and Capricorn. The moon that conjuncted Pluto and Capricorn 29 degrees to reawaken this soul power and revisit the previous boss battles that we've had relative to rising up against peer pressure to maintain sincerity and integrity of individuality. We're doing it again. So the moon's gonna go 29 degrees, it's gonna oppose, it's gonna feel very intense, and it's just really going to make sure you're not a WLB. You're not just some weak that's going to fold under pressure. All right, this is going to set up a lot of peer pressure to really see if you have an external locus of control and you're influenced by what other people think you should do with your life. This works if you're not in integrity. So you need other people to put you in check. If you are standing on business, and integrity. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do with your life. This is how you're going to transform society by standing on your own too and maintaining integrity that you will be able to break through and show through your habits and actions towards other people in the name of innovation and pioneering. All right. And it doesn't matter how eccentric or weird it is to other people champion that. But then again, I'm comfortable being very cringy. So like to each their own. But don't necessarily let that be used as a way to manipulate your low self-esteem. Not that you have it, you shouldn't have it, but yeah, you know, social dynamics, social mechanics. And uh, as we conclude this previous cycle and prepare to now activate this Libra cycle, the moon in Cancer will just once again, really begin to complete the results of this change of behavior by having you feel how sincerely you can hold space with other people. The Capricorn signature is one of results. So get ready to feel the results. I mean, you've spent the past three weeks changing your behavioral patterns and activating new routines and harvesting new routines. So the results of that is how sincere can you feel now integrating those habits with other people? And this is going to also give you a very psychic understanding of the feeling of the expression of your superpowers with other people. How do you feel when you're using your powers with other people? And that's going to be revisited when the moon is in Capricorn post new moon and we activate these superpowers. But beforehand, you know, bask into the feeling of this completion, bask into the results you will be feeling over the next week and comment down below how you feel, all right? Relative to last year, where we had just kicked off the eclipse, how do you feel around other people last year versus this year? Uh, I mean, like every year, I feel so much more confident. I am seeing direct application of everything I've learned over the past six months, and we're just getting started. I'm not rushing myself, forcing myself to get it all at once. I'm taking it degree by degree, day by day, all right? So, yeah. Be prepared to apply this psychic understanding towards social nuances that you will see within people's actions. And you're not going to like everything that you see. But your mama did not raise a punk and your pops didn't either. So, you know, put, your, put, the, put take off the kitty gloves and get ready to kick ass and take more names. All right. I told you so. Tour part two. We still ride at dawn. I will see you when I see you. Peace.